Hello engineers, this is an introduction video in Manage Identity on Azure and how you can use it in order to manage your resources. If you like the content I create and you want to support me for free, press the like button and subscribe on my channel. A common challenge for developers is the management of secrets, credentials, certificate and keys used to secure communication between services. Manage identities eliminate the need for developers to manage those credentials. There are two types of managed identities that you can find on Azure, the system assigned and the user assigned managed identity. Some resources such as virtual machines allow you to enable managed identity directly on the resource and this is the system assigned managed identity. You can enable it from the identity tab in the specific resource and this can be used in order to communicate with other resources on Azure. An example for this would be an app service that is running an application and this application needs to get some credentials from an Azure Key Vault. You can do this action using the manager identity and you don't have to provide a specific key or a connection string with your Key Vault that the application is using. By creating a system assigned manager identity, a server principal of a specific type is created in Azure AD for identity and the service principal is tied to the life cycle of the Azure resource. When the Azure resource is deleted, then Azure will automatically delete the service principal for you. By design, only the Azure resource can use this identity to request tokens from Azure AD. The user assigned managed identity on the other side is an identity that you can create on Azure and this can be tied with multiple resources in Azure. So you can have a user assigned managed identity in order to group a common use case for your application. For example, you may have multiple virtual machines that need to access a specific resource using managed identity. Then you can create a user assigned managed identity and all the resources that you have specified in this can communicate using the managed identity with multiple resources. We can now navigate to Azure portal in order to understand how managed identity works. So by navigating in a specific resource, for example, this app service that I have created under a specific resource group, we can go in the identity tab. There you can find the system assigned and the user assigned as we discussed earlier. The system assigned identity can be enabled using this button and by saving, we can have our own system assigned managed identity for this resource. As we already said, we don't have to maintain secrets for this object principal that Azure create as its system assigned managed identity. Then we can use this system assigned managed identity in order to assign our back permissions between resources. So for example, if we go in EAM tab and then we press add, we can add a role assignment. And if we have already created a managed identity for a specific resource, then we can go and provide a specific role. For example, website contributor. We can press next. And then as you can see, you can locate a specific user or a managed identity for this assignment. When you want to assign the specific managed identity, you should select it and then you should search for the specific location of it. For example, you can search by app service and then we can locate the app service managed identity that we assigned earlier. We will now navigate in the user assigned managed identities and we will try to create one in order to use it in our resources. First, we will need to find the specific service by typing managed identity in Azure. When we type that, we will be navigated in the specific service and we will press create. After pressing create, we should select our resource group where we want this managed identity to be located and also a name for this managed identity. I will name it user assigned and then I will continue and add some tags. As I currently don't want to add tags, I will press create and then I will wait for the validation to be finished. When the validation is finished, you can go under manage identity again and 
By refreshing the page, you can see that a new entry has been created from Azure. When this object is ready, we can go and navigate into it and see the role assignments that it has currently and also the associated resources. As I haven't specified anything yet, you can see all the panes that are empty. We will see now how we can use this user assigned manage identity. We can go in our created app service and specify a user assigned manage identity for this service. So by navigating again in the identity, we should go in the user assigned and press add. Then we will search for our manage identity and we will find the identity that we created earlier. As a result, we can select it and press add. By doing so, we have a user assigned manage identity for this resource that we created. This means that every resource that is assigned under this manage identity can have the same permissions and communicate with the same resources as specified from the I am control pane. You should specify your own RBAC access controls for this manage identity in order to have permissions and perform actions in your Azure infrastructure.